Hey guys, okay, so I have a question for you. Self tanner, do you use it? My guess is you probably do if you clicked on this video and that's why you're here. So we're gonna talk about self tanner today. We're gonna talk about it, all right? And the self tanner that we are going to talk about is Bondi Sands, ignore my nails. I haven't had time to do them. We got a new puppy. I'm really, really tired. She keeps biting my fingers. Um, <laughs> but Bondi Sands, hands down my favorite self tanner. Okay. Um, I've gotten asked in the past, like, what self tanner are you wearing? What self tanner is on your body in this video? Yada, yada, yada. This Bondi Sands. And that stands the Australian tan. If you can hear my stomach growling, just ignore it. Okay, I'm hungry. Um, I personally like to use the ultra dark, or if they don't have the ultra dark, if they don't have the ultra dark in stock because I get this at Walgreens, I just get the dark. But I like them both, they both look good. Um, one thing I will say no matter what self tanner I am using, I am using the Bondi Sands applicator mitt. These things are bomb. You can wash these over and over and over and over and over again. Um, I have had, I have had a couple of mine for years, literally. Every once in a while, I will be kind of lazy and I don't feel like washing any of my mitts. I get them all dirty and I don't feel like washing them, so I'll just buy another one um, because they are quite reasonably priced. Um, I will pop the price up somewhere on the screen for you guys as well as the price for this um but i love these mitts they are amazing so no matter what self tanner you're using i do recommend this mitt um for sure but let's talk about this okay where do i start um i I don't know why I tried this, to be honest with you. I think I saw somebody on Instagram talking about it, and I was like, I can get it at Walgreens? Sure, I'll pick it up. Um, I went and picked up a bottle, and I've loved it ever since. And let me tell you a few things that I particularly love about um, this self-tanner specifically. All right, first off, I love how it wears right here and I know that might sound weird to you but I love to run I love to do like hit cardio workouts I love to run on my treadmill outside um, and when you're running I sweat right here I don't know about you but I do I sweat here and I found with so many different self tanners it will wear off in this weird like diamond pattern right here and you can see it especially during the summer when I'm like you know like just wearing a tank top like this or a short sleeve shirt you can see it and it looks terrible and let me tell you this th there's no wearing okay there nothing nothing all right secondly I like the way this applies on my knees and elbows like you can see my elbow right now She's fine. I would show you my knee, but my knee is in jeans. And I don't feel like, I mean, I do want to take the jeans off, but I don't think you want to see me in my underwear. So we're going to skip that. But I really like this. This is hands down my favorite. Um, a few other things. It is a decent price. I think I paid $26.99 for this. Like I said, I'll have it up on the screen for sure what I pay. Um, Another thing, it's easy to go pick this up at Walgreens. They almost always have this in stock. They have a variety of different Bondi Sands products as well. Um, the aftercare lotion, I'm pretty sure mine, I'm speaking specifically for the Walgreens I go to, but um, they have like the tan remover like it's like to help you get your old tan off so you can apply new tan they have the mitts they have the lotion they have um the arrow version which is like um almost like a mousse type situation um this is a mousse as well but it's in like a like in a shaving cream type bottle where you like push it down and it like whew, 
comes out like a whipped type formula. I haven't tried it, but I know a lot of people say it's great, but I am kind of that person that's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I kind of stick with this. Um, I will give you a little snippet of how it applies. I will apply it to my arm for you guys. So you just, there we go. This one's kind of empty. I'm running kind of low, but here it is on the mitt, if you can see, okay? And I just, like it is like second nature for me now to apply this and there it is. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy at all. Um, I don't know if you wanna look at my arms. Like, I don't know if there's like a huge difference. Um, it does have a tan guard, so it does have like a tan color to it. So you can see where you applied it, um, which is very, very helpful. Um, I've tried other self tanners that were clear. I like to be able to see where I'm applying so I don't miss any spots. So that is nice. Um, it has a really light, like tropical coconutty scent, but it's not overpowering and it goes away. I, um, will put on, typically I try to apply this fresh out of the shower, exfoliated, shaved, all that good stuff. And I don't apply lotion every time if I really want it to like get into the skin. Also, if I'm like immediately gonna put on my clothes, um, I don't put on lotion because that just makes the skin a little bit more emollient and this doesn't stick as well. If your skin is dry though, I definitely suggest applying lotion at least to like elbows, knees, and stuff like that, which, you know, I do, but as far as all over the body, I don't always like put lotion on. But if I do put on lotion and then apply this, I really cannot smell this over the smell of my lotion. And you guys already know, if you're not new here, that I have a thing with scents. I cannot just like have like overpoweringly strong scents around me. So this doesn't bother me and my lotion isn't so over overpowering and strong that you just can't smell this over it. Like it just kind of just fades. It goes away. Um, it's still there now, but I have to basically put my nose on my arm to even be able to smell it. So no big deal. Um, I don't mind the smell. I have tried self tanners in the past that I thought stunk to high heaven, had the worst smell ever, and I couldn't even use it because it smelled so bad. So this is a pleasant scent. Now, to address the fact that someone, I, I don't even remember when it was or who it was, um, said that they had tried this and it applied green. Let me address that. I have a lot of red under tones to my skin. I am very pink, very red. Um, in that case, when I put this green with my red, it does not look green. You get what I'm saying? Obviously, I don't look green right now. Do I look green to you? Like, let me know in the comments down below if I look green, but um, it does not look green on me. Now, if you are an olive complexion, if you have a lot of yellow undertones to your skin, I could see where this could turn you into Kermit the Frog because it does have a bit of green. It does have a bit of a green undertone, but I like that because if it's too of a too much of an orange self-tanner, I look like an Oompa So for all my girls out there, if you have like pink undertones, red undertones, stuff like that, this is your friend. It's okay, don't be afraid if you pump it out and you're like, oh, it's got a little bit of a green tint. That's good, it's good for you. It will help cancel out some of that redness to your skin and it will give you a nice tan look. Trust me, just try it. Now, like I said, on the other side, if you are more olive, if you do have more yellow tones, you can try it. Let me know in the comments down below, like what your results were, because I can only speak for my skin tone and myself. You get what I'm saying? But 
As far as the wear, it wears perfectly, in my opinion. Like, I've had self-tanners where it started to wear off and I look splotchy. I look like I had some kind of skin condition. Um, it stuck to places that it just would not come off of and then other places were completely, like, pale. Um, this does not do that. It wears off very well. It lasts really long on my skin as well. It does not dry out my skin. Um, let's see. A few other things. I use this on my face. I don't use it all over. I use it up here around the perimeter of my forehead and I pop a little bit at the tip of my nose and like I make sure I get underneath like my jawline really well. I kind of contour with this whenever I put it on. But honestly, if you wash your face a ton um, every day like you should be, um, this is going to be gone anyways. I do sometimes, like, after I wash my face, I'll take my mitt and I'll take, like, the tiniest little dab. And I'll, like, pat it on my cheekbones, pat it across my forehead, hit the tip of the nose. And it helps contour your face. So when you wake up the next day, you kind of already have, like, a bronzy contoured look. So that is also a tip. You can take, like, a thicker like kabuki brush and put the the tanning mousse on that and you can dab it in with the brush as well but i just prefer this because it's already in my bathroom and i just pat it in pat it around where i want it to be and a dab will do my whole entire face so you don't even use a lot one of these bottles last me quite some time I want to say like a month maybe even more um so you think about it you're spending $30 but it's lasting quite some time and that is with me applying this two or three times a week um I apply it to my legs my arms my chest my you know my face like I just said my stomach my back I do not put it on my butt because one thing I will warn you of if you have a white toilet and you put this on your bum, every time you sit down to pee, you'll eventually notice your toilet seat kind of like has like a pink hue. And it's this, but if you take some bleach, you can get it off, don't worry. Um, I like have to do it quite often in my house because no matter what I do, like sometimes the tanner creeps up a little high when I sit on the toilet. I get tanner on it so I just wanted to let you know because that's something like nobody tells you like hey if you put this on your bum and you sit on a white toilet continually like if you're at a boyfriend's house or if you're at like a party you don't have to worry about sitting down on the toilet and turning that toilet completely pink in one you know like one sitting but at your own home where you're using your toilet quite often just just wanted to warn you that you might turn your toilet seat a little bit of a pinkish hue. Uh, also, this washes out of sheets really well. It will get on your sheets a bit. Um, I like to apply mine before I go to bed. It will get on your sheets a little bit. Um, that's to be said for all tanners pretty much. Um, it will kind of transfer to your sheets. I have white sheets. They wa it, it washes out no problem. I have no issue at all. It washes out of clothes. Um, I will put on a white t-shirt right after I applied this and sleep in it. And yes, the next morning when I wake up, there will be some tanner on it. But it washes out no problem. It does not leave it murky or stained or anything like that. So, guys, this is hands down my favorite self-tanner. If you see me tan in a video... I would say 99.9% .9 of the time it's from this tanner, but I have been on a kick where I'm trying a bunch of self tanners, so be on the lookout for all of those videos coming up very soon. Um, and if you're new here, if you found me because of this video and you're shopping around for self tanners and you're one of those people that has more of an olive skin tone and you can't really go with something that has a little bit of a green tint, then stay tuned because I have the self tanner for you and that video will be coming up soon. So make sure you subscribe so you can get the tea on that. But that concludes the self tanner video, guys. I, you know what? Like I gave you everything. I don't know how long this video is going to be. It might be long. It might be short. I don't know. But 
this is hands down my favorite self tanner and I just had to share it with you guys and why I love it. Um, I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment before you go and I will see you in my next video. Bye!